I'm Bunny Bee here, I'm back! <laughs> so today guys I just want to show you uh, this beautiful makeup that I've created. Now that Valentine's Day is coming over very soon, so you want to look very natural, radiant, fresh and young. So if you are really interested to see how I created this look, just please keep on watching. Now again, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget just to click this little bell that you have there in the uh, YouTube channel just for you to get reminded every time I create a video. So let's just start then. Okay, just to start this makeup, I'm going to start using the primer first. You should all the time try to use primer before you use your foundation because the primer will allow your foundation to stick into your interior skin very easily. This is a Smashbox uh, primer foundation and it's quite creamy, it's not as consistent as, as other primers from Smashbox. I perhaps should do a tutorial just to give you my feedback about one of my favorites and some, or some of my favorite primers and I'm just going to start applying that one in only the areas that I have some pores. I have some pores around my cheeks and I have a little texture around my nose too. So I'm just going to start applying that one um, with those gentle moves. Um, if you do it this way probably you won't get the best out of the cream so it's better if you start tapping like this um, just to try to cover them um, more effectively basically. So I'm just gonna do the same one around this area and in my nose again basically. A little bit in my forehead. All right, so now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna start using the Even Better Glow Foundation from Clinique. This is a really good foundation. It's medium light foundation. This foundation is in the color, I'm actually the color ivory. I can put all the links down there below. Um, just usually apply those like this. And if you feel that you need more foundation after you apply, you just put more in your face or in your hand. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more around my nose here. All right. So this time I'm going to apply my foundation with my hand. Um, I've done it previously with um, with a brush and I like using the brush and the beauty blender most of the times but when you are in a rush for example or when you want to get out of your house very quickly um, so perhaps using your hands would be more effective. Um, and also you don't waste a lot of product. Some people may think, oh, with the Beauty Blender, um, most of the product is just gone because it's actually sucking the product. You need to wet the Beauty Blender. But I can do a tutorial after uh, just to show you how to actually use it very well. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm just do using my hands just to smooth things around. So you actually see the consistency and so for concealer, I have this concealer from Rimmel. It's actually good. Um, I just tried this one out at the moment. Um, it has like a little sponge in it through which the concealer goes out. So I'm actually testing this. I'm not too sure yet what to say about this product. It takes me a little, it takes some time for it to get out. All right, I put a little bit in my eyes. I tend to be very dark around my eyes, so I actually prefer to highlight that a little bit and clean the way it looks, the skin looks. I'm going to do the same here. And again, I'm going to apply the concealer with my fingers because I haven't found yet a really good brush for this, to be honest. So far, my fingers are the ones who save my life when it comes from makeup. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to start using this Revlon eyeliner that I found. It's a really good color. It's quite brown and it actually matches the color of my eyebrows. Um, so I'm just going to proceed and start using them and then I come back. <laughs> my 
eyebrows completely done. Uh, I'm just going to proceed to start doing my eyes. Uh, today I'm just going to do uh, makeup that's going to be very good just to go out and perhaps have it your first date now that the Valentine's Day is coming up. So I'm just going to try to do a very natural look but it looks very beautiful at the same time. And so for that I've decided to use kind of some brown eyeshadows. Um, I've created this little set of, uh, with four eyeshadows from MAC. Uh, you have orange, um, blue, um, brown and grey. And so for starters what I would do is um, with a little brush um, I'm going to start applying the orange around my eye in the outer corner. So I'm just going to start blending this out because it's very important that you blend out the colors. That's basically the key of having a beautiful eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to start doing this. It's going to be quite natural. Yeah, so now just to kind of give a little bit of more background, uh, I'm just going to be using a little bit of brown. Um, again in the outer corner just to give a little bit of more background in this case the brushes I'm using it was it came from a set in pennies and it's actually the eye brushes that you can find out there I could probably give you the link if I can find it <laughs> but those are really good I actually got surprised of the quality of those brushes I'm pretty sure they're better than those but um, just let me know if you know any others that I perhaps should start using so I'm just going to go through the outer, outer corner and pushing that into the middle of the eye just to give a little bit of background in there. And you can start seeing that the eye is taking form and it's having more dimension basically. I'm going to do the same down here. that I have this little section out here that's still having no color whatsoever so for that one I've decided to start using a beautiful golden color that I found and um, this is the golden color it's from Catrice and the color it's called 950 gold out so I'm just gonna apply that one in the left um, in the remaining of the eye out here just to give a lot of light gonna blend it out with another brush with a clean brush just make sure that you blend all the colors out just to make sure that it looks very natural once again that's the key So now that the eyes are completely done, right, I'm just going to start doing the rest of my face and then we can finalize the down part of the eye. So um, what I would do now is apply some bronzer. Again, the bronzer that I'm using is the Catrice one, but um, I'm just going to put the link below. I think they have changed a little bit the look of the product. It's called Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. This bronzer, um, this bronzing powder is very good. It actually blends very well in the skin, you can actually see it. The brush that I'm using is Contour and Highlight from number 7. And again, I'm going to put a little bit in my nose to define a little bit the look of it. Just to try to make it thinner. And I like a little bit in here just to try to make my face look thinner as it is. Alright, so going forward I'm just going to start using now the blush. So this is a peachy blush that I bought a number seven again. I love this color, at least I love the way it looks on me. So because I'm using a lot of, like I'm using oranges and brown and golden colors, I want to go into a more 
glowy and, and, and golden look. So I'm just going to use the peachy because the color peach in my cheeks will look very beautiful. You will apply the blush in the apples of your cheeks just to try to provide a very young look and fresh at the same time. For highlighter, I have chosen this highlighter from New Look. It's called Pure Color Baked Highlighter Powder. It's very beautiful and again, if you can see, it's quite golden. So um, it goes very well with the look that we're building right now. So I'm just going to show you how it looks and the way that I'm going to apply this color. So again, I'm using the Contour and Highlighter brush from number 7 to apply this one. Not sure if you can actually say, oh, it looks beautiful. Look this glow. Again, for your first day, you have to be shiny. the rest of the eye now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the brown this one down here that I apply in the outer corner here but I'm just gonna do it up brown uh, a little bit here just to try to provide a little bit of volume and dimension of the eye right so I'm just gonna put a little bit in here and with the golden we're gonna do it in the rest of the eyes Now remember that it's very important to blend it out. So in this case, I'm going to blend it out with a little bit of orange, a little bit only, and just try to blend it out along across the eye, like this. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to use this brown eyeliner from Revlon, actually the same eyeliner that I use in my eyebrows, because I like the color, and because this is a look that would look quite natural, I want to keep it like this. This lovely mascara, I'm totally addicted to it. Basically, this is the name and this is the word. It's Bed and Sex Mascara from Too Faced. You probably have heard this already many, many times. I love this mascara. It's really good. It enhanced your, your eyelashes and look how it, get, how it looks. And you will see how my eyes totally change as soon as I finish applying this. the difference. This mascara is just a miracle. I will do the same for the other one. happen right you actually know what happened see this don't freak out everything's gonna be okay the trick is you need to wait until it dries and once it dries you can actually clean it out with a little brush with the brush so you will be patient and you will be blended in out and it will just go away very easy and so your makeup will still looking beautiful you don't need to worry about that's actually the trick so you're almost ready for your beautiful first date so the lipstick that i've chosen right is velvet teddy from mac look at this lipstick it's beautiful it goes amazingly very well with this makeup and so it's a matte lipstick but it's very creamy so you will feel very comfortable with it that's the way it looks. That's it. This is a beautiful 
makeup that I've created for you guys. So now that Valentine's Day is coming up, you want to look radiant, you want to look fresh, you want to look beautiful and young. Um, apart from that, look just um, let me know if you like that, give me your thumbs up if you really like the video and let me know what you thought of it. If there are some other products that you perhaps would like to recommend, just go for and let me know. Give me the recommendations through the comments so I can actually start using them very quickly. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!